Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down the 5 Pinklon Thomas best knockout. Number 5. Pinklon Thomas vs William Hosea. On November 22, 1986 at Las Vegas Hilton Winchester, Nevada, Thomas beat William Hosea by TKO at 1-10 in round 7 of 10. Left hand, and he'll drop the right. So there it is. And there's another right. Get over. Maybe he wants the workout. Who knows? Pinklin Thomas said he can move on his feet, and it's only a quick move back. Oh, there's a wild right hand. He goes wild with the right again. Inside of 25 seconds now. Real good shot that time. There's the uppercut, the right hand. Thomas now in the body assault. Wild with the right hand. There's the uppercut. Well, it seems like, again, he's been just satisfied to. Throw is wide open for right hand counter punch. Every time he there it is! Big right hand! The fight put it back in. There's a big right hand again. Left hook, right hand. Jose keep plotting forward. And as long as he does, Thomas will continue to nail him. When you get this kind of valuable merchandise like Pinklin Thomas, Pink Thomas looks at him like a lion toying with a kitten or something. That's it. I think they've stopped the fight. Number four. Pinklon Thomas versus Alfonso Ratliff. On March 26, 1983 at Sands Atlantic City, New Jersey, Thomas beat Alfonso Ratliff by TKO at 2.36 in round 10 of 10. Through both going toward that title. Let's fall into periods of sluggishness. An opening action. Very good. Oh, good combination. Former heavyweight Ernie Terrell, at railway contender Bobby Chez at ringside. Oh, left hand. So the keeps frightening wing as the way he's been. He may get a chance to uh, settle that score with Larry Holmes. Affects Pinkman at all. Good combination by Thomas. So that's the end of round five. We'll be right back. Number 3. Pinklon Thomas vs. Michael Greer. On September 24, 1983 at Ice World Total, New Jersey, Thomas beat Michael Greer by TKO at 1.15 in round 5 of 10. Did not. Side, so not that much room for a boxer. Left foot hurt. You are right. James Hardrock Green was the first to break the news to him. couple of seconds around two good strong left jab good left uppercut Bates uh, over 12 for the southern junior heavyweight title so he can go the distance putting his left jab in mothball there's a good right hand by Pickman that made still doing most of the scoring but uh, nevertheless Michael Greer title live here on Saturday night <laughs> right we got to fight this was one of his problems against Cosia early oh my god that hurt that hurt wow that's it big left hook by Thomas that's all number two Pinklon Thomas vs. James Tillis. On August 14, 1982 at Stouffer's Inn on the Square Ballroom, Cleveland, Ohio, Thomas beat James Tillis by TKO at 0.58 and round 8 of 10. Halfway through round number four. Pinklin Thomas with a right uppercut. Good strong left hand by Thomas. Thomas with a lead right. He's right Thomas and yet another one. Thomas with a countering right hand. Left 
took by Thomas. The converted southpaw has a lot of authority with his left busier in this round. He's the one who's close. He has two hard jabs, three hard jabs, a fourth one. He had a shot at three, three поражения подряд. Наконец-то удар от Тилиса на встречу с Пинком Томас. Но вот никак не развивает свой успех. Тилис встал и стоит и ждет точного удара от Пинкона Томаса. И счет 3. Джеп очень мощный у Пинкона Томаса. И... Хотя тут уже и правых прямых на пропускал Тилис. И еще один пропускает кого из сверху. Еще один Джеп, на который Тилис напар. Снова атака справа и от Пинклана Томаса, и вот тут уже все. Номер один. Пинклан Томас vs. Майк Уивер. On June 15, 1985, at Riviera, Winchester, Nevada, defending WBC heavyweight title Thomas beat Mark Weaver by knockout at 1.42 in round 8 of 12. A lot of action early on, because he's a converted southpaw. Came over with a right hand, that was a good shot, backs Weaver up. And Thomas is right on Weaver, Weaver is down. Of the thumb and hand. Weaver still being bothered by ability to take a punch. There's a right hand by Thomas, but... Thank you for watching please like, comment and subscribe.